Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, Issue 14, scoring fast cash on the battlefront. Days of Fear, Part 2, with money and time enough to make their own arrangements, fugitive Padawan Zane Carrick and his gangster partner Grave finally part company with the Arcanians who've helped them, the adult inventor Camper and his fierce protector Jarrell, but neither party seems headed for peace and quiet. Teamed with the neurotic starship thief Slisk, Zane and Griff find themselves aboard a flying commissary, one headed for the Republic battlefront with the warlike Mandalorians, and aboard the last resort, the story ambushes Jarrell and Camper. The heavily armed assassin droid HK-24 wants to take the old man alive, and it doesn't much care what it does to Jarrell. Release the objective, female adult. Objective must not be damaged. An age K-24 intends to damage you. Analysis. Female adult persists in holding objective. Conclusion. Employ utility vibroblade to detach offending organic features. Permit age K-24 access to limbs. Female adult. I would prefer not to. Identification, T1 Albi. Lot of droid, buck. Fifth degree drone, moron. <coughs> Suggestion, load self into garbage chute. Activate, hurry. Where is non-objective? <coughs> Cease this activity. Female adults organic life functions cannot be terminated if female adult keeps moving. <coughs> Age K-24 awaited 0.2 billion milliseconds to capture objective. Further delay irritates Age K-24. Delay complete. Thank you for your compliance. Fem Roland? Where did you come from? One of those traveling compartments you have here. Terrain. Is it? Cheryl. And those are Kemper Specials. We use them to smuggle people who... Wait. You are on board the last resort since Flashpoint. I thought you were leaving with Squint and the Jedi for Coruscant. That was... Not for me. Coruscant is no place for a Mandalorian on his own. I've been looking for the chance to shed my armor and leave on your previous stops. There was almost always someone on board. When I heard your battle, I decided to take a look. Well, I'm glad you did however you got here. That thing was after my friend, and he nearly got him. I don't suppose they train you guys in first aid? Certainly I. Well, I've seen the medics work at least. One doesn't need training to see your friend. He's so. His name. Camper. The name I know anyway. He saved my life again and again. Then we will save him. Show me to his quarters. Camp 3 Command, this is Short Hall Leader. Hold and circle, Short Hall. We're a little back from the last wave. That's all right, Command. I see a parking spot right over there. What the? Negative, negative, go around! Look out! Wow, just enough room to put down the landing ramp. Don't be surprised, it's Fleet's ship. That's what the Admiral calls him. Hottest space lift jockey in the Navy. He could park a tanker on a bar stool. Looking good, Fleet. At this rate, you'll have the whole camp landed by nightfall. It'll have to wait, Sergeant. Any good places to eat around here? Well, the Army Commissary just opened this morning. Ah, then the answer would be no. Nah, I was gonna say we've all going to this great Fringer wagon all week. Best food I've ever had. I'm not sure that's saying much, Army. Nah, check it out. Welcome to the little Mavoli, gentlemen. We have a lady table for you that's just open. Our cook has just put out some fresh, verbally temperi. I know you wouldn't think a grand ocean could go. Apparently no one ever asked that. Looks like the whole Republic's here. Yeah, when the Mandys get here, they'll have to eat standing up.
We're low on plates again, Master Griff. We start the barbers, Sliss. I'll see what the holdup is. Oh, I see the holdup. More late with problems. What's the deal, Zane? I'm using the force to keep from losing my mind. Can you use it to speed things along? Convince they play. They're clean or something. This is crazy. We shouldn't be here. Someone will recognize us. We've recognized as the place to be in country. That's what. Look, we didn't want to be here. Uh, but now that we are, we might as well make the best of it. And we are. I'm making money and don't overfit. You. Listen, I don't think we should. Blasted droid. Terrific. Another serving droids fouled up. The fringes we stole the ship from the bag to keep up their equipment. Well, you know what to do. Come on, henchman. Someone's got to look after the droids when they pile up. What's wrong with you? I'm the host. How would they look? Hard enough keeping clean in this mud hole without this junk happening. Just a moment, sirs. I can take care of this. Yeah? Who's gonna take care of my uniform, slimeball? The meals will be on the house, sirs. They're on us. With the Mandy's coming, we're gonna be living in these clothes. I'll see what I can. Oof. Oh. Sorry, Master Sir. You're lucky you're Fringer, boy. On the Courageous, the Admiral would space you for that. It's all right, kid. Admiral Carith won't bite. He's already eaten today. First thing a new Admiral does is show off his rank whenever he can. There's got to be at least one person in this camp he's missed on his walking tour. Your food here looks pretty good. You got a name? Oh. Shed. Shed. Camper. You're pretty young to be out here with the Fringers, aren't you? It's a life. You go where it takes you. I know what you mean. I never thought I'd be back at this place again. But the military's like life. You go where it takes you. Oh, sorry. Lieutenant Karth Onasi, at your service. I should be back on Telos with my family right now, but the onslaught pretty much ruined my leave. Now the Navy's been called in to help the ground pounders get their act together down here. Before the bucket heads show up. Aren't you guys sitting awfully close to the cities? What? Oh, you mean the Starob cities? The stone things. They belong to the Starob. They're those tall guys. This is their planet. Oh, there are human settlers from the Republic here too, but they're on one of the nicer continents. Do they have military camps in their front yards too? I don't know who decides where the emplacements go. I leave the landscaping to the professionals. Your Admiral? Is he landscaping? Harith? No, no. The Republic tells the armies what to do and we just handle the space lift. I don't think the Admiral would ever run a defense like this. I've been with him a while now. I trust his judgment. I'm a flyer for him, on the Courageous, when I'm not playing loader droid. Excuse me a minute. That's coming out of your cut, you know. It's too bad you can't do something else for these people. Well, up until the onslaught, this planet was a backwater. Actually, one of my first posts was on the orbital watch station here. It was so boring then we used to call down false tornado alerts to the Starob. It gets pretty stormy around here, and they're not real handy with technology. So they're glad to have us warn them, but they're pretty gullible too. We could send a whole city's population down to the catacombs whenever we felt like it. During sporting events, festivals, you name it. <sighs> kind of fun to watch from above. For a while, anyway. It stopped being fun. Senator complained. Also, I got down here and met a few. Didn't seem so fun after that. Well, I've a lot of metal to move, Shad Camper. The Mandalorians will be dropping in tomorrow. Tomorrow? I wouldn't worry much. They'll have to get past the Admiral first. This won't be a surprise attack like before. And if they do land, they'd be smartest to try the planes on the other side of the continent and engage us somewhere in the middle. Besides, it's like you say they come here. They've got a good chance of wrecking the cities. Mandy's don't like to spoil the spoils of war. Here. That's for me. And for the Starob. Take it easy, kid, and my compliments to the chef. Griff, I think we should try to pull out now. Pull out with all this money here. To war zone. He didn't like it much when the Mandy's arrived on Vanquo.
Yeah, but we didn't have an army protecting us then. A hungry army that carries cash. In fact, I decided we should start staying open through the night. What? The guys eat in ships, henchmen, so we serve in shifts. I'm not letting money on the table. Literally. Though well, money on the floor is good food. How am I ever going to clear our names if we keep drifting from scam to scam? Then, clear names are overrated. I want to do me once a criminal. The only unwanted criminals are the lousy ones in turn. Leslie and Brogue. In turn again, I thought we were done with that. I never mind, I'm going to get some air. What? You're taking your break now. Well, hurry back. You've got the first night shift. And take your hat. What am I doing here? What are they doing there? I see what they're doing. I see a defense without honor. Agreed, Mandalore. What is your command? Let them see what such a defense deserves. Let them burn! What's that about? I don't know, but if he's been eating his own cooking, I'm not going in there. Griff, wake up. What did you say the name of this planet was again? Um, oh, Sarako, I think. You got to go. What? Did the grease catch fire again? No, leave the planet. Raise the ship right now. Tonight. Don't wait for the morning. Not this again. I... Hush. And listen, I had a vision. Jedi vision. Out of the future, at sunset on the day the Mandalorians arrive, they will destroy the planet, and they are arriving tomorrow. You sure do trust that vision business? Your master has the to be topsy telling the future. And you know how that wound up. They were trying to see the future. I wasn't. Almost never works when I try. When I see something I wasn't looking for. Well, I think the Force really means it. I don't like it one bit. There is money to be made here, and I don't mean money. This planet's worth something. Who treasures something valuable? Someone who wants to make a point. All right, I'll say. We run food or something. They won't want us here when the shooting starts anyway. Start tearing down the tables and we'll get out of here. You'll have to do that. I can't. Because I'm not going with you. I have to talk to Admiral Kareth. Next time on Knights of the Old Republic. I need to speak to the Admiral. So you're a Jedi, huh? Karth, you've brought a real-life Mandalorian spy. I'll make you talk if I have to. I'm trying to save the people of Serico. Missiles fired! Missiles fired! Full spray! <laughs>